Hi, my name is Declan McAvoy, and if your dreams don't scare you, maybe they're not big enough. I'm riding on a frozen lake, can you believe it? We're in northern Finland, uh, just above the Arctic Circle. Uh, this lake, about maybe three kilometers, I started on the other side, and I have come up with this fantastic idea to ride across the entire length of Lake Baikal in Siberia. Uh, lake Baikal is 780 kilometers long, and I have uh, gone into partnership with a very good friend, we have assembled an international team and we're hoping to make a Guinness World Record. Uh, I tried last year and failed. Failure is good sometimes because it drives you to come back and do this again. Uh, it will be in Siberia, minus 30 in the daytime, maybe minus 40 at night time, 780 kilometers. Uh, the ice in Siberia actually sometimes it crashes in and to each other and breaks into plates and you have uprisings, you need a axe to get through but equally in other places the ice is separating maybe you can have two three meter gaps in this ice <laughs> how did i get into all this crazy stuff well you know to be very honest in my late 50s i think i started late into this and uh, my advice for anybody is uh, start early your life begins early your life is now i started late it's my only small regret but don't think about regrets Think about what you're going to do and what, look back at the things you have done and uh, just enjoy. My first motorcycle journeys really only began maybe about 10 or 12 years ago. I decided to ride the length of my home country in Ireland. I rode from the very north to the very south, 650 kilometers, and I thought, whoa, this is fantastic. What can I do next? In Ireland, we have 32 regions. So can I ride all 32 of these regions in one day? Uh, I tried and I failed. And again, failure is good because failure drives you on to have a second time and when you do it the second time the pleasure is much better and yes in the second time I managed to ride the 32 counties of Ireland in less than 24 hours this was the goal and where to from there it's from John the Groats to Land's End in the UK then it becomes Western Europe Western Europe gives way to Central Europe uh, then you begin to look at Eastern Europe and then you begin to look beyond uh, you know sometimes I think it's a bit like drugs you know you start small but you want more you want more I have friends at home who say, you know, for Declan McAvoy, the world is not enough. Maybe they're right. So I have progressed from Eastern Europe on into Russia. Uh, now I have made a solo around the world motorcycle journey, which took me through Istanbul and into Central Asia. <clears throat> through all the stands, a very, very colorful route. For me, solo is always important. If you do it solo, uh, you are the architect and you are the owner of this trip 100%. And this journey took me from Central Asia on through uh, Mongolia, Siberia, Far Eastern Russia, uh, and towards Alaska. This was my fifth night in a row camping. Working out quite good now. But uh, one thing I'm always conscious of is trying to eat well, drink well, and sleep well. So my journey from Alaska then, of course, moved uh, over to the Northwest Territories, to the most northerly point in the Arctic, uh, Tuktoyaktuk. And from there, where's the next destination? Well, it's got to be Ushuaia, in the very bottom tip of uh, South America. And uh, this journey took me down through Canada, United States, Mexico, all the Central American countries and all the South American countries, staying on the west coast of South America. Some crazy, crazy places I can remember, places like Baja in Mexico, places like the Yukon, places like uh, the Salar in Bolivia, uh, Lake Titicaca, San Pedro de Atacama in Chile. Fantastic places. You've just, you've got to do it, guys. From Ushuaia, back up to Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires across Cape Town in uh, South Africa. South Africa then up along the west coast of South Africa to Gibraltar, into Spain, and back home to my home in Ireland. Travel broadens the mind. Travel is a university of life. I look at our own five children. They have followed in the footsteps of their father and their mother. And I would just urge anybody who is young or old, get out there and travel, meet the other side of the world, you know, don't believe in any of the stereotypes. We're always afraid of things that lie in front of us, yet we look at things behind us with a smile on our face. So what's the point of being afraid? Just get out there and do it.